The Alliance of American Football, a new football league filled with former NFL stars such as Christian Hackenberg and Trent Richardson. Uh, it debuted this past weekend. Uh, did you guys watch the games? Will you be joining the Alliance, as the Cool Cats are saying? And uh, will this league be able to survive? And Logan, what pit players, I mean, what players would you like to see in this league? <laughs> well, honestly, I'm going to go right off, Nick, and say yes. I have joined the Alliance. I have picked a side. Birmingham Iron. Well, uh, a lot of the people. the 10th team to go in your Twitter <laughs> bio. <laughs> hey, you know, it's all for the love of sport. But they, it's they all have. for the love of 20 they, teams. They, yeah. Hop it yeah, on the yeah, bad really. bandwagon. Hey, you know what? He's I'm, the I'm, 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 I'm not going to shy wagons. away from it. But <laughs> the thing is here, a lot of people don't know they have NFL and CFL affiliated teams. Bills happen to be with the Birmingham Iron. I like the AAF, and I came right out and say it. All the national establishment of TV talents and the changes in rules, I went into this a little bit unsure. I was like, how is this going to turn out? Is it going to be as good as people think? Uh, I was shocked, first of all, by the attendance of these games, You know, even in a big, yeah. as big a venue as the see, Alamodome. See, but the hard hitting I'm is what really I'm got me. I'm still torn on it, though. Because to use a good old sport management term, it still has the novelty effect on it. You know what I mean? It's the new thing. People want to see it. I love, point, I love the novelty. I love the novelty. I love it too. I love it too. And I, I think for the first year or two it's going to work. But what's going to happen after that? Is it going to get stale in year three or four? Are we going to get sick and tired? Well, and that's going to be the test. All players that are really just kind of mediocre and not we really also, good enough for the NFL We also NFL need to think, anymore. what about the XFL? Not to cut you off. The XFL yeah, is the Yeah, the XFL is still coming. That's even more competition. So you're going to have four major or three major leagues competing under the NFL yeah, the CFL I mean, the XFL and the AAF I See, the thing is so they're not competing with the NFL no they're not exactly. they're and that's the huge there's no affiliation the minor league which is why I think it will stay the biggest thing to me that jumped out 2.6 ratings higher than the higher than the, N game the NBA right game yeah I mean I think the novelty like you said I love the novelty no kickoffs mm -hmm. I'm all for it well, I mean the fact that they no have extra points they gotta go for in, two the, I'm, I know oh, listen oh, sorry you're five minutes you keep interrupting me you're done up in up in the studio <laughs> up in the studio up there, they got a lot of uh, – they have the officials review the calls live, which has been done with you arena football before, but I think that's a great that the see, NFL should adopt. No TV I, timeouts. No. I like I that it's different. On-site conversions, I like phenomenal. that it's Love different, it. but I'm concerned with – we're talking survival long-term – is it going to grow stale after a few seasons? I think it's going to do fine for the first few years, but I think it could grow stale, kind of like the old USFL. Not, not if they fall out. I think it's, it's a reasonable concern. But I think if, yep. with their intention of this trying to be a minor league, and it's, it's the I NFL think that's where it has the best chance of like CBS Sports going Network. To. I think TNT, in a couple yeah. years, that's a very realistic possibility with what we've seen this past week. Again, it's only one weekend. We don't yes. know. And I the, game, the, the games, the games I, were I exciting, though. There was a yeah. lot to talk about.